What's up ladies and gentlemen, you're on YouTube, welcome back to episode 17 of the Kaiser Chiefs career mode. I hope you guys are excited for this episode, as you can see here we've got Tottenham right off the bat, then we go for Norwich, Everton and another game against Club Bruges in the UCL. Hopefully we can redeem ourselves after that 1-1 one -one draw that we simmed, that was quite annoying. So um, if you guys are enjoying the series so far, please leave a like and subscribe with the bell on so you never miss another video. And without further ado, let's not uh, waste any more time. Let's get straight into this game and get started. Now. Guys, I didn't realize the fitness of my team was that bad. So this is going to be the team that I'm going to have to play against Tottenham. If you look at it, um, it doesn't look very strong. The rest of the team's fitness is literally down the drain, so I picked whoever I could literally that was on standby. As you can see here, all of the team's fitness is down the drain. I said this is where, um, this is where the, the squad depth had to come in and um, I thought I did a good job on getting it good, but clearly uh, if this is the squad depth of the team, we might have a problem against Tottenham, but hopefully if we can still get the three points, we're going to try our best. If we can't get the three points, we must be the greatest manager in the world, so let's see what we can do. It's Tottenham again now on the attack. What can we do here? They're looking to break free and they finally scored. We've been holding them off for 40 minutes and they have finally scored. That was inevitable, but it still hurts. It still hurts. Here we go guys, it's half time at the Al Jaid Stadium. Unfortunately, we are 1-0 down to Tottenham, but what could we do? Our defense was good for the entire first half and at the end we just couldn't stop it anymore. Tottenham have a corner, what can they do from here, they head it down, but it's straight into two on Zebe's feet, here we go, Greenwood gives a ball out, can Kaiser Chiefs do a quick break here with Tamari Gray, he gets past one, he gets past all the defenders, it's Tamari Gray in on goal, come on now, oh the defender caught up, but Tamari Gray turns him and shoots, and it's blocked man, wow Tamari Gray's pace wasn't enough, I don't know who was that defender, but he somehow got back, impossibly. Guys, I have just one choice. I have to risk the man's fitness himself. Cristiano Ronaldo. I have to risk his fitness. He's about the same fitness as everyone else on the pitch right now anyway. And then I think I want to bring Kobo on for Yimura. Because he, I actually like that guy. So hopefully, hopefully we can make a comeback. It's still taught in America and breaks through. I think it's a goal, guys. Towards him, we made a mistake there and Harry Kane capitalized on it. That looks like it's game over, guys. 3-0. That's a rough one. Yep, there's full time, guys. Tottenham beat us 3-0 at home. Our team just wasn't good enough to cope with Tottenham, guys. Maybe if, uh, if the fitness happened with another different team, we could have won. But, guys, we were, it wasn't enough to deal with Tottenham. Unfortunately, that is going to be uh, a 3-0 defeat here. Yeah. Here we go guys, cup game against Norwich, should be an easy win, I'm giving the youth players a chance, Ronaldo's getting a rest, Mount's getting a rest and some guy Mashiana he wanted to play so I gave him the chance, Billiard grabbed himself a brace in this one, honestly, even when I'm not playing Billiard bloody scores goals guys, so that was great from this game. Here we go guys, we have a game in the Premier League against Everton, I'm definitely just going to sim this one. Um, we should get the win quite easily, it's a 2-1 win, not that easily, Ronaldo gets a brace in this one, um, Hamez missed a penalty in the 90th minute to make a draw, but we did get the win, uh, it wasn't a big one, but the win is a win, that's 3 points in the bag. Here we go guys, Champions League against Club Bruges, let's see what we what they got to ask us here, last time the two teams met, it was a very entertaining draw. How will you approach today's game? Let's keep it tight, keep everything tight. Our goals must be, our for finishing must be on form. Get good goals, keep the defense tight. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, you're preparing to face Club Bruce, or you'll be setting up the team differently. Uh, I'm looking for more of the same. I'm going to use just the normal team, guys. I'm using against Everton. Uh, we should be able to win with that. The team's been absolutely flying lately. Can you keep this great run going? I think there's more to come. We took our first defeat of the season against Spurs, but I think there's more to come. Guys, Mount hasn't really impressed me today in this episode, so Pagliat is going to start over Mount in that camp position behind Cristiano, and hopefully we can do some work because Pagliat got himself a brace and Mount hasn't been uh, doing too well. So we have to beat uh, Club Bruja, we have to take back our, our honor that we lost in that throw. So let's get straight into it. 
This is it guys, Champions League football playing at the Al Jaid against Club Brugia. Last time out in the Champions League, Billy had got himself five goals. Let's see what we can do this time. Club Brugia in open space. Where's my defense? Where's my defense? What is going on here? Oh my word. Of course we concede first. Don't we always bloody concede first? What is Alaba doing? Why is he not sitting back? Honestly, I wonder sometimes. Here we go, Saha on the ball now. He runs it inside to find Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo finds Billiat now. Who finds Zaha? Who looks for Ronaldo? Ronaldo's gonna cut inside. Yeah, he's gonna shoot from there. That's a great shot, but the keeper has it. Corner for Kaiser Chiefs. Neves gives one in. He tries to find Ronaldo on Ronaldo's head. And that is just wide of the inside of the post. Unfortunate. Here we go, it's Fede Valverde now. It's still Fede Valverde. He gives a through ball for Mason Greenwood, who's in acres of space. It's Greenwood now who shoots. Mason Greenwood equalizes to make it 1-1. Fede Valverde does another great run. And Mason Greenwood does a great finish there to get past that keeper, top corner. Love to see it, man. Here we go, guys. Guys, that cheese is on the attack finally again. It's Billiat now running it here. It's still Billiat. It's still going to be Billiat. He gets tackled, but Ronaldo gets on that ball. It's Cristiano Ronaldo now. He's trying to get past the defender. He gets past one, I think. Done. Shoot. Oh, and that's just wide. Club Bruges is looking to attack again now. We need to get this one away, actually, this time. Uh, bloody Alaba better be back on his line. But actually, Valverde is the one who gets us away. It's Zaha now. Who find, tries to find Ronaldo in Pagliat was wide open. Honestly, I don't... I, I don't know what these guys are doing today. We may have come back, but this has been a stupid game. Like, only Valverde has been playing well and I guess Greenwood to score that goal. At least Pagliat is keeping up with this guy now. Pagliat finds Cristiano. Cristiano now finds a through ball. And it's James on the ball now. He shoots. He's not going to score from there. He's a bloody right back. I was surprised that it wasn't Greenwood. Maybe he could have made it two there. But uh, unfortunately, that's not the case. Let's see what we can do in the second half. We literally have to win this game. Here we go. It's Bilyat on the attack now. It's still Bilyat. He keeps it here. That is great play from Bilyat to find the ball for Fede Valverde, who's going to first time shot that into the bottom right corner. 2-1 now, guys, achieves. Bilyat gets his assist, and Fede Valverde gets a goal that he deserves for his great performance he's put in today. Oh, you love to see that. Come on now. It's Club Bruges on the attack now. They've gotten past our defense again. And I don't know whose fault even that one was. Like, what even happened here? Like, look at it. It's Tuan Zebe who's running past this freaking man when he can just make the tackle. He should have just stayed back. He runs straight past the ball and leaves Jamal Lewis to do everything on his own. And now they've played scored again. Here we go. It's Cristiano Ronaldo on the attack now. It's still Cristiano Ronaldo. What can he do here? He's holding them all off. To find Ruben Neves. Now it's Pilliat and Fede Valverde. Fede Valverde finds Pilliat. He sees a ball for Mason Greenwood. Who's going to give a cross here? For Ronaldo. Who gets the header? Cristiano Ronaldo. After missing the whole game. Has finally scored off the header. That was a great cross from Mason Greenwood. And the header was literally inch perfect from Cristiano Ronaldo. The keeper was not touching it. Look at this four ball. Pilliat finds another ball. For Mason Greenwood. Gives a straight cross inside and Ronaldo's not missing that ever. Club Bruges on the attack, the inside of our box, we can't let them come back now because then it's probably going to end in a bloody draw again and I'm not having that. Absolutely no way. So let's just defend this for the last bloody nine minutes of the game. Please, please just get the ball! Chiefs! Thank you! Here we go to Ronaldo now. It's Cristiano. It's still Cristiano. He sees Bilyat making a run. What would a game be? Oh, wait, I'm speaking too soon. What would a game be without Kama Bilyat getting a goal in the Champions League? That was actually a beautiful, beautiful goal from Bilyat. Uh, shout out to Ronaldo there for giving that through ball. But look at this from Bilyat. He's at almost an impossible angle here with the keeper staring him in the face. But he just bangs that one straight home. The keeper's never touching that ball. Look at that for a goal. Bilyat is always scoring great goals. It was through the keeper's legs too. What a beautiful goal from Bilyat. 
Here we go. Still, guys, the Chiefs on the attack in the final minutes of the game. If we can score now, it's definitely game put to bed, but uh, we're going to win anyway. So here's a ball for Fede Valverde from Ruben Neves, his midfield partner. And Valverde gets himself a brace in this one. I didn't even know who was going to shoot that ball when I was running it. I was too busy focusing on commentating. But put the ball in the middle, and there's always a man there. This time it was Fede. And that was beautiful build-up play from Kaiser Chiefs. As you can see here, Ruben Neves ran it all the way. Ronaldo Obiliat, no. Valverde. And he gets himself a brace in this one. That should be the end of the game, guys. What a beautiful game from Kaiser Chiefs. Waking up in the last final minutes of the game. We do win 5-2 here at Al Jaid. And I think we've pretty much redeemed ourselves for what happened in the 1-1 draw away at Club Bruges, man. So, guys, that is going to be the end of the episode here. In the next episode, we do have games against Wolves, Aston Villa, Celtic and Liverpool, guys. That is going to be the main game for next episode, guys. We are playing Liverpool at home in the Premier League, guys. And assuming we win against Wolves and Aston Villa and Liverpool win the next two games, that could be an early, early title decider here, guys. As you can see here, we, us and Liverpool, we have the same record right now. 26 points, 8 wins, 2 draws and 1 loss, guys. Uh, and we basically on the same goal difference. They've scored three more goals than us. We've conceded one less than them. I mean, if we're going to keep up our form the whole season like we have been, and Liverpool's going to do the same, then this this game is probably going to be one of the title deciders uh, that's going to like show in the end of the season. The game against the top two that is going to see who's going to uh, have an advantage throughout uh, the most part of the season, I guess. So with that being said, guys, if you guys did enjoy this episode, please leave a like and subscribe with the ball on. And without, uh, I forgot what I was going to say now, I wanted to say something else, but uh, yeah, I guess I'll just see you guys next time.